Hi, my name is Steve Melcher. I live in Los Angeles, and I'm the creator of That Is Priceless. I do make my living in Hollywood as a television writer and producer. In fact, I've spent the past 20 years getting paid for writing jokes. Basically, what I do with That Is Priceless is take history's greatest paintings and give them brand new, slightly funnier titles, especially the paintings that are super serious or dramatic. Those are just begging to be messed with. I first got the idea of retitling paintings a couple years ago on a trip to the Norton Simon Museum here in Pasadena. I came across Rubin's The Finding of Eric Thonius. I had no idea what the painting was really about. In fact, I'd never even heard of Eric Thonius. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Suddenly, an alternate title popped into my head. Worst Secret Santa Gift Ever. I wrote it down on a post-it note on the spot and sort of immediately realized this was something I could have a lot of fun doing. There's nothing all that special about my creative process. In fact, it isn't all that different from the way I work when I'm writing monologue jokes for late night television. In that case, the day's news provides the setup for the punchline. While in the case of that is priceless, the painting is the springboard for the joke. So I'll ask myself a few questions. Does the person in the painting look like a modern day celebrity? Could it be construed that they're doing some sort of 21st century activity like Pilates or playing Wii? Take in all the little details of the painting that you usually miss and See where they lead you. Obviously, there are a lot of paintings out there that depict death and suffering, which on the surface might not seem too conducive to humor. But most of them are so melodramatic about it, they're just too good to pass up. Like they say, comedy is tragedy plus time. And I agree there is such a thing as too soon. But fortunately, with great paintings, it stopped being too soon five or ten centuries ago. I haven't done a lot of the most famous of the famous paintings, like the Mona Lisa or any Picassos. I guess the reason for that is that, at least to me, these other paintings that we haven't all seen a million times feel a lot fresher. I also like knowing I'm digging out paintings that a lot of people have probably never seen in their lives, and maybe reviving interest in some underappreciated artists.